Here's another special report, this time from David Santos, on extreme hunger and poverty as top concerns for government. Is the goal to eradicate such problems just a pipe dream for now? When Super Typhoon Yolanda devastated the Visayas almost a year ago, about 200,000 families lost their homes. Weeks before that, more than 70,000 families were displaced due to the Bohol quake and about 14,000 others due to the Sambuanga city siege. At present, around 12,000 families in Albay are staying in evacuation centers for more than a month now amid fears Mayon volcano could erupt soon. Natural and man-made disasters, which the Philippines has become infamous for, is apparently taking a toll on the country's efforts to fight hunger and poverty. A recent survey shows a minimal decline in the number of underweight children aged 0 to 5. The National Nutrition Council says recurring calamities could be a factor since many of the children in cramped evacuation centers do not get proper food intake and health care. Evacuees usually get rice, canned goods, and instant noodles for food packs. Easy to prepare, but not necessarily healthy. Aside from setting up breastfeeding stations in temporary shelters, the NNC has been eyeing to include ready-to-use complementary food for infants and toddlers in rationed food packs. Yung isang pack na makakain ng mga bata, malaki ang sustansya na maibibigay, maibibigay dito. Because of overpopulation, access to food is mainly a problem in both urban, poor, and rural areas. Nutrition programs are also devolved to local government units, which may also vary depending on the priorities of local leaders. Ang kalamidad ay isang factor lang. Well, aside from the calamity, we are about 7,100 islands. And I've just been to uh, some areas in Palawan. And it's really difficult to go from one island to the other. The seemingly dismal results of the country's nutrition survey only shows it is unlikely for the Philippines to achieve one of its Millennium Development Goals or MDGs for 2015. Under Goal 1, Eradicate Extreme Hunger and Poverty, the Philippines promised to reduce underweight prevalence by 50%. Latest figures indicate the country is still far from reducing half of the 1989 baseline. If wala naman tayong mga uh, interventions, uh, baka mas magiging malalata. And we are making progress naman. Hindi naman, hindi naman depressing. Hindi, hindi depressing. <laughs> and we can say there's significant decrease. Kaya lang, kulang pa rin. The NNC is pushing for guidelines as an intervention to improve the country's nutrition situation. It launched on Thursday the 10 Kumain Men's Campaign, which aims to educate the public on proper nutrition through food-based and behavior-driven practices. The 10 Kumain Men's lists down 10 nutritional guidelines, from mothers breastfeeding their children to keeping a healthy lifestyle. The NNC hopes to get the support of LGUs to pass on the advocacy to communities. Maybe nasa a local chief executive. Oh, na talagang kapag ka nasa puso nila yung pagtulong sa nutrition or tutukan lang nila yung nutrition, I'm sure yung mga nows nila gagalaw ng mas maganda. Around 600 nows or nutrition action officers have been tasked to go around the country to lobby for support on the new nutritional guidelines. And despite missing next year's deadline for one MDG, health officials believe it's never too late to make up for lost time. David Santos, 9 News.